guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing a project finale with you guys. I love doing project pans, as you know. I do, um, I, well I do my year long project every single year where I pick a certain amount of products to use throughout the year. And then I usually like to throw in uh, random pans throughout the year. So I usually have two going on at a time. So my most recent project pan, this was something I wanted to try that was a little different than anything I've done before. Um, it was a You Picked It project pan. So I did like an intro video and showed you guys a ton of different products that I was kind of considering to throw into a project and asked you guys which ones you'd like to see me try to pan. And you guys picked nine products. So all nine of these products were products that you guys wanted to see me pan. They're the ones that got the most votes out of everything that I showed you guys. So yeah, this is my finale. Like I said, I started this project, oh, back in May? No. When did I start this? I want to say back in April. Let me check. Okay, so it looks like I did start at the beginning of April. So I basically had all of April, all of May, and then all of June. So I had three months. Yeah, so I had three months to finish up these nine products. I did finish quite a few of them, but not all of them. So we're going to get into that. But before we get into that, if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy watching this project pan finale. Like I mentioned, I do a lot of projects here on my channel. So if this is something you enjoy watching, make sure you subscribe while you're here. And as everyone says, hit that notification bell because YouTube does not always notify you unless you subscribe to the notifications as well. So let's go ahead and jump into the prog progress. As you guys know, I like to like recap you first on where I was last time. So there are a total of nine products in this project. And when I did my first update, which was the only update I did in this project, I had completed two products. So I'll show you those real quick. So the first thing that I had finished off already as of my last update was this travel size version of the Sol de Janeiro Asahi Body Butter. This is a product that I had received in PR and I don't really like this one as much as I like the boom boom cream you guys hear me talk about the boom 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 cream all the time on my channel I love that product but this one I was kind of expecting it to be similar but a different scent and it's not really that similar it doesn't give the really beautiful glow to the skin the way the boom boom cream does um, and the scent is not my favorite I think it's it's not a bad scent, but I don't really like it either. So for that reason, this is something I would not repurchase, but I'm really happy that I was able to use it up. The second product that I had finished as of last time is this little tiny baby size of the Tatcha water cream. This was so easy to go through, you guys, because it was so tiny. The box that it came in, because this was a 100 point perk that I redeemed for. If you watch like the initial video in this series, uh, you would see the box that it came in was like really deceiving. It was probably three times as big as this container. So I thought it would be a lot bigger and harder to go through. But once I opened it and saw how much product was actually in here, here, it was like maybe three uses. Like it was not hard to go through whatsoever. And I didn't get enough time using this to form a, you know, good opinion on it. So I would definitely have to try more of this product to tell you guys whether or not I like it. Now, keep in mind, I do when I apply a moisturizer, apply it to my face and neck. So, you know, because of that, I go through them a little quicker, but still it just wasn't enough to get a good opinion on, but it is gone. So that's the second one. All right, and then I'll show you guys what products I was able to finish up since my last update. So first I have my Sugar Fresh Lip Treatment. I was actually able to finish that off. It's rolled up all the way. This was super easy to go through. I go through these so quickly when I start using them daily because they're so soft and creamy that you apply a lot when you apply it. So it's not like the like Chapstick or Burt's Bees lip balms that are really hard, so it takes forever to go through those. This is so creamy that it just goes really fast but I really like these a lot I do whenever I get one I do use it really quickly but I don't really like purchasing them because of how expensive they are and I feel like there's better lip treatments for a lower price but I still really love it like the the reason I have this one I bought it because I was at work and I forgot to bring a lip balm to work and my lips were so chapped so I bought that one because it's good it really is very good but there are drugstore ones that give you the same results for a lot cheaper, like the Burt's Bees one, which is my favorite. All right, the next product I was able to finish off, this one I knew I was gonna finish off. It was pretty close to done last time. This is from Scentbird, and it is one of their little travel size fragrances. As you guys know, these are like monthly subscriptions um, where the, you 
get a different one to go in the outer case and then inside you have your actual fragrance. So the fragrance that I had was Gucci Bamboo and there, I mean there's a tiny little drop left in there but I couldn't get it to spray out so I'm just going to call that done. I think this scent is okay but I honestly got really bored with it once I started wearing it daily so I don't think it's one I would purchase a full size of but I did enjoy it when I was using it. That's the nice thing about these Scentbird ones. Sometimes you have fragrances that you kind of like but you're not in love with so it's nice to kind of try it out first before you commit to a full size and then you may find that you really don't want a full size and that's what happened with this one but I was able to finish it off. Next up, this product actually did go bad on me so I didn't completely finish it but I used a lot of this. This is from Tar is the Tartest clay paint liner. So in my last video, I told you guys that I kind of stopped using it for a little bit because it was starting to irritate my eyes and I wasn't sure if it was this or something else. So I stopped using it for a little while, let my eyes kind of heal and then tried it again. And I tried it two more times after that and both times it irritated my eyes so bad. So it definitely went bad. And I think I've used probably half of this product. So I don't know. I feel like I got my money's worth. It only had a six month shelf life on this and I probably had it for like nine months, but I just don't like when products like this take me for a long time to go through. They just take me a long time to go through because you don't use very much of it. There's a lot in here. Unless you're using it like every single day, I don't see how you could use this up in six months. And not just like using it every day, but you're doing like a big winged liner. Like you have to use a lot of it to go through it that quickly. So I wish it either had a longer shelf life or there was less product and then it was less expensive or something. You know what I'm saying? So you don't feel like you're wasting your money on it. But I probably won't repurchase this one just because I feel like it just goes bad before I can use it up. And I really prefer liner pens right now. I used to really use these like clay potted liners all the time and I loved them, but I just find the pens take so much less time. So I just, I like the convenience of the pens. So for that reason, I don't think I'll repurchase it, but unfortunately I do have to toss this one. All right guys, so that was all the products I was able to finish up. There are four products here that I didn't quite get through, but I will show you my progress on those real quick. Um, the first one is this from Monet. I actually, because of the packaging can't really show you. It's too dark to see into it. Um, I can't really show you what's left, but I will tell you a little bit about it. This is the Monate Thickening Spray. Um, it's two fluid ounces. I have been using this regularly, not every day because I don't wash my hair daily and you're supposed to use this when your hair is wet. So I don't use it every day, but I use it a few times a week and it feels like it's probably a little less than half full. I just, I only spray about three sprays in there and like I said, I only use it maybe two, three days a week. So for that reason, I couldn't get through this in a three month period of time. However, since I've started using it, I really have been enjoying it. I love the way it smells. It has a very very sweet, almost like cotton candy kind of scent to it. It reminds me of a body spray I used to have from Victoria's Secret, but I can't remember the name of that one, but it used to be my favorite, and then they discontinued it, and it smells just like that. But I really love the way that it smells, so I will be continuing continuing to use this until it's gone. And then I do also have a backup already, because if you guys didn't know, I was subscribed to the Monate system for a little while, their whole VIB or VIP Thing. I was subscribed for a while and I got two of these while I was subscribed to it. I, I'm never going to subscribe to them again or purchase from them again, but I would like to use up these because I think they're really good and I'd like to get my money's worth because it was dang expensive. So anyhow, um, I do like this. If you are a user of Monate and you're wanting to try some new products from them, I would highly recommend this. I think it's really nice. It does add a little bit of volume. I like just spraying it right at the roots and then, you know, you blow dry your hair and it adds a little volume. It's not a crazy amount of volume, but it's nice. It doesn't leave your hair crunchy and it smells really good. So, all right, next up, I got so close on this, you guys. I was really hoping to be able to finish this before this update, but it just didn't quite happen. And this is my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. Um, I did receive this one in PR. Was it this one? Yeah, I received this in PR and then I have another shade in my collection as well. But this shade is the 3.0 shade and it's just a tiny bit too dark for me because it oxidizes on me. So when I first apply it, it looks great. It's a perfect match. And then once it oxidizes, it gets too dark. For that reason, I got the 2.0 shade and that one definitely works a lot better better, but um, I'll show you guys a close up. I'm really close to done with this. So as you can see from this little window right here, the product is like two right here. So there is not a lot left in there. I've moved it a lot since the beginning of this project. The only thing about this that it's making it take longer 
is, well, first of all, the shade is a little off for me, so I have to like really be careful how I apply it, but also it's, it's so thick and heavy, I really try to sheer it out a bit on my skin, so I don't use a lot. I use like a, a really small pump, not a full pump. I use a like a really small pump, and then I really buff it into my skin to help prevent some of that you know, thickness or the cakiness on the skin. Um, and then I have to also like really take my time with my bronzer and bronze up my neck a little bit to make it work on me. So it takes a lot of extra effort to use this foundation. So for that reason, I, I haven't been using it daily. I've been using it like once a week or maybe a couple times a week. So I didn't quite get through it, but it's definitely going to, I feel like my goal is to finish this up before summer's out. So before the kids start school again in September, I really want this gone so that I don't have to worry about in the winter when it's really not gonna work for me having it still in my collection. So I'm gonna continue to try to use this, but I think I'll keep doing what I've been doing, which is just wear, wear it here and there, kind of mix it in, because it is so much extra work. All right, and then next up I have a nail oil treatment from Orally. This is called the Argan Oil Cuticle Drops. Uh, when I pulled this into this project, I told you guys I highly doubted that I'd be able to use up the whole thing, but I thought it would be fun to include in this project because doing projects, there's so many benefits, not just using up the products, but learning to use a product that maybe you don't ever reach for. Once you put it in a project, especially if you're filming updates on YouTube and people are holding you accountable and you have these, you know, you have to show people how you've done you reach for it more and it like trains you to use a product that you maybe been wanting to use but always forget about. And that's why I wanted to pull this into this project. So I have really horrible nails. They're really, really bad. And I thought using a cuticle oil might help to repair them a little bit. So I've been using this. I was very consistent for a while and then I kind of forgot about it for like weeks and then started getting back into it, but it was less consistent. So I think I've been using it maybe Recently, I've been using it like once a week, not every single night like I should be. Um, so I, I don't notice a big difference in my nail beds, to be very honest. Like if I if I used this more regularly, I think it would, but I just, I haven't been. But I will show you guys a, a close up because I have moved the product quite a bit. So when I started this project, this was essentially full. And as you can see, it's moved down quite a lot. You do not need very much product with this. So that much movement, it's it, that's quite a bit for a nail oil. But again, I really do want to start using this very regularly so I can hopefully see some actual benefits from it for my nails. By the way, you guys ask me this all the time. Everyone always asks, what am I looking at over here? That is my viewfinder and the reason I look at it so much as you can see from the last clip, my camera just randomly decides not to be in focus. I really want a new camera because this camera is a pain in my behind, but I can't afford one right now. So we're just gonna have to make it work and if I'm looking over there a lot, that's why. Okay, next, or last I should say, this is the last item. This is from Marc Jacobs and this is a lip gloss. It is actually what I have on my lips today over a little lipstick that I'm wearing. Um, but this is the Marc Jacobs lip gloss in the shade Sugar Sugar. It is just like a little baby size, travel size. Um, as you can see on my lips, it's a good nude shade. I like the formula of this gloss. It's very pigmented and not very sticky. It is, I mean, it's a little sticky, but it's not super sticky. There is a swatch right there. My hand's a mess from swatching. I've been filming like crazy, you guys. I had to pre-film a bunch, so you'll be seeing this video like a week after I film it, but anyway. That is a swatch of it right there. And I, I didn't make a lot of progress on this, although I was wearing it almost every single day. I've been wearing it with the lipstick I have on right now, which is in my other project. It's the Kat Von D Celebutard lipstick, and you guys have been asking me, like every time I post a video, what's on your lips? It's pretty much always this and the Kat Von D lipstick. So I have been wearing it a lot, but I don't feel like you can see a lot of difference. There's a couple little spots where there's like, um, you know, holes in the product. So I'm gonna give you guys a close up and kind of turn it so you can see what I'm talking about. By the way, the kids are pretty loud downstairs. Sorry about that. So I don't know, can you see that? There's a little bit of gapping, hap gapping happening, there we go, in this product. Um, and I'm hoping you guys can kind of see that. So like I said, I have been using it a ton, but lip gloss is one of those things that I feel like you can use it and use it and use it forever. And at least for me, at least for me, it is really hard for me to use up a full lip gloss. Even a baby size like this, 
seems to take me forever. They almost always go bad before I actually finish them off. So anyway, that is the finale for this project. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I thought this was really fun. I really liked having you guys involved and helping me pick the products for this. So thank you so much for watching this series and, and for contributing to it. You guys are amazing and awesome and I love you so much, but I hope you guys have a fantastic day and a happy 4th of July. I think you're gonna see this before the 4th or maybe it's going up after the 4th. Like I said, I'm pre-filming and my days are so mixed up. But um, anyway, have a great holiday week and, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.